Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP today. We are going to do some mining today because you guys seemed that uh, most of the comments were basically like, yeah, go ahead and go mining and we like to listen to you talk. So I really do appreciate that, guys. I don't know why you guys like to listen to me talk so much, but, you know, I don't mind mining episodes. I mean, I'm going to have to end up doing it off of camera anyways, so I thought, you know what, I might as well just do the mining. Record it, and if the if the audience likes it, then they'll enjoy it. So anyways, our armor is nearly dead here, so we're actually going to go mining for more diamonds. But before I do that, I'm going to make myself full diamond armor in order for, uh, you know, just to, just to kind of make it like a, a, a dire need to find a diamond. So I'm going to need to make, I'm going to need to find more diamonds for in this uh, mining trip here. Because I, I do have a short, a short supply of diamonds now. And I only have three, four, five, six, I only have seven diamonds now. So I, I need to kind of, it's kind of a, an emergency. We need to find some diamonds today. And we need to get a couple more levels so we can enchant um, one of these one of these start enchanting the things um one of my two or three of my bookshelves actually here got burnt down during that wool prank so i'm gonna have to replace those very soon but we're gonna go ahead jump back into our strip mine i have my efficiency four unbreaking three fortune three pick and then i have my normal efficiency five unbreaking three mining pick so we're just gonna go ahead straight into the mines and we're basically just gonna talk uh, you know, maybe a little story time or just talk about, uh, I don't know, Minecraft in general. I don't, I don't really know. I don't have, I don't plan out my episodes like most YouTubers do. I kind of just, I kind of just talk off the top of my head. I think that's a little bit more genuine when it comes to, uh, giving out content to the community. It's, it's nice to just talk out of whatever comes to your mind first. So let's see, one, two, three. So then we need another mine here. <clears throat> so during this mining trip my main goal is to really either find diamonds or mine um, every single ore that I kind of come across in order to get more levels because I don't have a fully um, I don't have like an XP farm sort of thing yet other than feeding my actual like uh, chickens and my cows so I'm, I'm really needing I'm really needing to grind the levels when and I, I can only really do that by mining as of right now like there's no there's no mob farm that I, I have made yet. I mean, I do have plans. Ooh, look. Ooh, there's an emerald here. All right, let me grab this. Let me grab my fortune. Ah, oh, yes, I got two emeralds from that. Nice. I wonder if there's anything here. Oh, I should have grabbed a bucket of water when I went upstairs. No worries, no worries. <clears throat> Let's fill this whole bit in. And then I can continue mining. So yeah, as I was saying, I don't really plan out my episodes really. It's it's just it's more enjoyable for me to just kind of kind of talk about whatever comes to the top of my head. And um, I think I was just talking about making a blaze grinder. So I'm probably gonna be doing that very very soon. I just really I need to review on how to really make it. And um, how do you guys want me to do that video? So for the blaze grinder tutorial video, do you guys want me to do like uh, cuts and pauses where you guys I kind of teach you guys exactly how to make it should i just make it um really quickly in one take and then kind of i'm probably gonna stumble through a lot of words because i don't have the actual farm memorized but what do you guys prefer like do you guys like those kind of tutorials where i kind of cut in and out to each stage but i kind of i'm still telling you guys exactly what to do let me know in the comment section below guys for this video how do you want to be taught uh how to make a a grinder so wait one two three how do you guys want to learn how to make that blaze grinder? I don't know if you guys, because there's a lot of there's a lot of different types of people out there. Um, some people enjoy watching just a straight up, uh, you know, like cut ins, cut outs. Some people just telling you like build four blocks here. We'll be back shortly, and then like things like that. You know, just cutting in and cutting out of each specific. Um, portion or do you guys want like a straight full build where i kind of just talk the entire time and like literally show you block by block how how i place where to place how to place things so leave that in the comment section below guys the most obviously the the, the version that has the most uh replies or the the version that has the most like requests like oh i want it to be this way i'm obviously going to record that way because this series is once again about the community all of you guys who support on uh, my channel and it's re it's really just another fun series that i get to play with my friends um another series to more like interact more with you guys and uh, it's it's really really fun to record so i i'm, I'm pretty sure i'm going to be sticking with rise for a very long time in the future 
And uh, let's just continue on mining. I haven't found any diamonds yet. I'm kind of getting a little bit scared because I, do, I, I really do need diamonds. Um, hopefully I find some soon. I found a fair, a quite fair amount of diamonds in this, uh, in this little, I guess this strip mine I've already started. But uh, I'm not really sure how um, like this diamond spawning mechanism works in Minecraft. Like, I don't know if there's only like a set number of diamonds per couple of chunks or, you know, just things of that, that technical stuff, the technical details. I don't really know all that. So wait, one, two, three, another strip mine. Why is there a strip mine here already? Okay. That's weird. Let's just continue on. Oh, there's a diamond here. Oh, yeah, I marked this out because I didn't have a fortune pickaxe. Wow. All right, there we go. So, uh, fortune three pickaxe here. So, there we go. We have some diamonds for you guys. On ca Oh, that was only one. That's two. Ooh, that looked like three. Ooh. Ooh, there's even more. I got 11. Oh, it's going to be like 12. 15 diamonds. Yes. <laughs> there we go. That was just one patch of diamonds right there. And you guys can see how, how good a fortune three pickaxe actually does when it comes to uh, mining stuff so or when it comes to you know kind of multiplying uh, the diamonds that you would have normally found so there we go find a pa uh, patch there I completely forgot about that the last time I went mining was ages ago so I wonder if there's any more that I left did I leave any more now I'm scared I'm, I'm not I'm like paranoid now that I forgot like a patch somewhere um, I usually try to mark it out like you guys can see I marked it out with like 20 torches That's kind of why I kind of just randomly checked right there. So we're just gonna let's let's mine down this way I guess we'll see how far this cave system went and then we'll kind of just turn around so nice We've got 15 diamonds. That's really really good. I like I like that. I like that a lot So it looks like we didn't finish this cave here. So we're gonna continue to mine until our two branches meet up again uh, 15 diamonds on a quick trip right here. There we go. That's that's how, that's the way to start it. Oh, that'll that'll fuel us for a while. We'll have we'll have the materials in order to make tools. We'll have the materials to make up. Um, I mean, more armor if we happen to die. God forbid. I hate dying. I hate losing all my diamonds and all my tools. That's probably like the worst part in like a survival world. Probably is like just having to actually. I don't know just to actually have to watch how, watch how you die like because if you do die you're kind of wasting all that I mean if you, it takes a long time to find diamonds guys so all of that time that you just spent mining like 24 diamonds for full eye or for full diamond it's kind of just like oh it's down the drain when you die so you have to like really really play it carefully I hate pranks for the fact that th there is a small chance that you could die I mean we try not to we try not to kill off the other person, obviously, because that is a little bit mean. But I mean, you know, it's it's. I mean, some accidents do happen, and uh, some people do end up dying sometimes. We even die when we're actually committing the prank sometimes, like falling from a big height or something of that sort. So we need to just you just gotta play it really, really carefully when it comes to pranking people. Uh, some more iron. I'm gonna need more iron too, actually, because I I need um. I've been using iron a lot for my railroad tracks, and I've kind of depleted my iron uh, reservoir. So I'm going to need to start getting more iron very, very soon. Uh, but I'm kind of just, I, I leave iron collecting for caves. So I haven't really gone caving in a whole while, in a couple of episodes actually. I haven't, I haven't really done anything cave-wise. But you know what? We're just going to go ahead and continue. One, two, three continue off right here i need i need like if i find one more vein of diamonds in this episode i'll be really really happy that means that, it'll, that my mining trip will have paid for itself right there so that's really really good if i find at least one more hopefully i find at least one more i got to level 34 so i'll be i'll have enough for one level 30 enchantment and i'll still be level 31 so that's really cool um, the, the new enchanting system on this, on the snapshot, on the new 1.8 snapshot is really, really cool. I like the fact that you can enchant and it only costs you like three levels. Ooh, diamonds. Nice. Or not diamonds, the gold. Collect up this gold. I'm starting to collect up on gold because there are some rumors that we might switch to a UHC server, UHC type of server where there's no health regen. But as of right now, I mean, there's not really a... There's not really a need, I guess you could say. There's not really a need for gold um, as of currently other than maybe apples, but we don't really need apples right now because we are not a full UHC server. But there we go. Uh, let's see what we've got so far. 15 diamonds, 8 gold ore. Not too bad. I really, really want to find like another vein 
just one more vein of one more vein of diamonds and I'll be a happy camper come on luck of the diamonds I gotta have the luck of the diamonds right now do 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 Oh, so so for future episodes guys future episode plans ideas and just stuff of that nature I'm probably gonna end up uh, full like mass breeding my villagers that I have in my little enclosed cage I'm gonna start uh, I, I have a farm in there I only have one farmer so far so I need to I need to kind of mass breed them a little bit more in order for them to make more farmer babies and in order to do that I kind of I'm kind of just waiting for my sugarcane to grow like the sugarcane farm that I made in the previous episode episode because sugarcane and coal is probably the best way to uh kind of pay the villagers it's like the most cheapest method in order to pay the the smiths and in order to pay like the librarians is just a, a couple of i think it's like 17 coal or something and it's obviously really really easy to mine it's really easy to mine coal especially if you have a fortune pick because you get more than one coal per block so i'm going to probably stick around with that idea something of that sort where i'm kind of just using coal and sugarcane in order to breed the villagers and we'll kind of see how far it goes from there I haven't really I don't know I haven't really looked into uh, like more like alternative breathing methods it's probably it's the fastest that I've found as of right now and it's probably the method I'm just gonna stick with until I mean until 1.8 is fully released I don't really have a big I don't know a big breeding method other than what's already out there on YouTube I mean people have ideas of how to breed efficiently but it's not it's not a hundred percent perfect yet obviously because I mean, it's really, really hard for, you know, for people to find out those breeding methods when it's when 1.8 is still in beta. It still hasn't even been fully developed yet. So I, I'm kind of just waiting for that time. But for the meantime, as I was just saying, I'm probably going to end up breeding villagers just by mass trading them stuff because that seems like it seems like it's the best way to go right now. So we're just going to go ahead and continue with that. Put another torch down. Come on, I need one more diamond vein and I'll be good. I'll be so happy if I find one more diamond vein. Oh, jeez. The luck the luck is not with me today. I found one, but I kind of technically found that in a previous mining trip. But, I mean, 15 diamonds. Who's going to complain? That's a nice amount of diamonds to start to start things off with. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can make it to the end. What is this? Is this a cave? Oh, this is a cave. Oh, I remember exploring this cave, but there's nothing good in this cave. All right, where's that little mine system I was just at? Here it is. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wait, no. Yeah, wait, that's right. One, two, three. So put this rock here. Wow, I just placed it and then <laughs> freaking mined it again. Oh, come on, diamonds! I need the luck of the diamonds right now. I need I need to have the luck of the Irish. I don't even know. Do Irish like diamonds? Oh, I thought this was diamonds for a second. It's just lapis. I'm going to mine this with the Fortune 3, actually, because I need to collect up on lapis in order to enchant stuff in the near future. Put a torch down and continue. I think I can do one or two more layers before I'm going to end this episode. Hopefully, there's like a, a vein of diamonds somewhere in these two last two rows. And if there is, I'll be I'll be happy. Oh, I got a Blast Protection 3 leather cap from that uh, skeleton that I killed. But yeah, the main goal, well, other than uh, getting diamonds, the main goal of this little mining episode was to get cobblestone. And I need cobblestone in order to make stone bricks because I do want to decorate um, a little bit of the outside. Uh, like, I mean, I need to contribute to the nether wart farm, or not the nether wart farm, the nether hub and I haven't really given them materials to do that, so I need to start pitching in for that. So that's why I'm gonna, I'm kind of just mining in order to get building materials for them to be able to build stuff. Uh, getting more coal here in order to trade for the villagers, obviously. And we're just gonna go ahead and fill this back in. Do 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 do, and we are good to go. I really love playing with, I just like, I don't know why, just random thoughts coming through my head right now. I, I love playing with my gamma up because I, I technically don't need torches, but I still need to place torches in order for mobs to not uh, spawn. So for the people who, who kind of recommended me and told me, you know, you should play with your gamma up, thank you guys for that suggestion because it's probably one of the best transitional changes that I've made uh, for my Minecraft gameplay. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode right here, guys. We did find one vein of diamonds, and with the Fortune 3 pickaxe, we got 15 diamonds from that. So successful mining trip. Got myself some cobblestone in order to start building more of the stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a mining episode. I mean, mining episodes are, tend to be a little bit boring. Uh, 
um, other than that, when you actually find stuff. But before I end it really quickly, I'm going to show you guys my wheat farm in action. I, this should be fully grown by now. And I'll just have to replant it off of camera. So here's my fully grown wheat farm. Let's see. Let's watch it in action right before I end this episode. I'm probably going to need more room. I'm going to just throw that away. I don't really need it. So if I push this button, boom. The water should start a flowing. And there comes all the wheat. So the wheat will just start flowing all the way down. Followed into or float into this little hopper system here. And obviously all the seeds and all of this wheat is just automatically harvested. Did I? Oh, I need to push the button again. Need to push this button in order for the water to start stop flowing. There's the water. Water goes down. All this pretty beautiful wheat is now nicely connect collected. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Let me just let me do that again. Let me just let the water flow because I forgot that I need to have the water flowing in order for the wheat to actually uh, for the wheat to actually flow <laughs> flow down into the into their corresponding little buckets or into their corresponding little hoppers. There's, you guys can see right here, all the wheat, all the seeds get collected. Let's open up the wheat chest. How come there's only one wheat in here? Maybe they're still, I think they're, they're still probably uh, filtering out the little, what's it called? Yeah, there, there's all the wheat. The wheat's all in here. As you guys can see, the seeds are being filtered first. But there you go. There's my automatic wheat farm in action, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's episode. This is D-Field. Got myself 15 diamonds. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave a comment in the sections below, guys. Give me some ideas for, I mean, future farms, pranks, whatever it may be. Uh, yeah, leave it in the comment section below, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode, and we will see you guys later.